WordPress is a leading content management system that allows anyone to build a website. Once you get your head around all the incredible features and how to navigate and use WordPress, you'll become confident in building, customizing and managing your WordPress website completely by yourself. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel. I hope you're all doing well. Now in this video, we're gonna deep dive into a WordPress tutorial for beginners. Today's focus is to share everything you need to know about getting started with WordPress to create, customize, and manage your own WordPress website. Okay, so before I teach you all the fundamentals for getting started with WordPress, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel. And that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into this WordPress tutorial designed for complete beginners. <music> Okay, so the first thing that we want to do today is log into our WordPress dashboard. To do that, simply head over to your browser and type in your URL, your domain name, then hit forward slash WP dash admin. And that will take you to this login page. Then simply add your username and password and then click login. And that's going to log you into your WordPress website backend. And your WordPress backend is where the magic happens. Today, we're going to focus on everything you need to know to really get started with WordPress if you're looking to build your own website using WordPress.org. Now, there is a difference between WordPress.org and WordPress.com. WordPress.org requires you to sign up with a hosting provider and then you need to install WordPress.org. However, on the other side, we have WordPress.com, which is basically an all-in-one website builder that allows you to simply sign up and start building your WordPress website. Everything is taken care of within WordPress.com. Now, if you're more familiar with WordPress and you're not a complete beginner and you're ready to start building your website with either WordPress.com or WordPress.org, then what I'll do is link a full WordPress.com tutorial for beginners down below in our description. So go ahead and check that out if you want to build your website with WordPress.com. However, if you're ready to build your WordPress.org website from start to finish, so from signing up with a hosting provider, buying a domain name, and then building your WordPress website, then what I'll do is link that full WordPress.org tutorial down below in the description. So go ahead and check those out if you're ready to start building your website with WordPress. However, if you are a complete beginner and you just want to learn more about WordPress and how it works, then stick around. We're going to cover everything you need to know to get started with WordPress.org. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right into this tutorial. Now, if we navigate over to dashboard, you can see that we have the WordPress dashboard selected. Now, above dashboard, we can click visit site to view our website. And then if we navigate over to new, this is where we can quickly go ahead and create a post. Now, a post is a blog post and WordPress.org is a great CMS content management system for managing and creating a blog. Then below post, we have media. This is where we can add media to our WordPress website. Then we have pages. We can go ahead and create a new website page. Projects, where we can create projects. And then below project, we have user. This is where we can add additional users to our WordPress website. Now, if we navigate back over to dashboard and below dashboard, we have updates. If we click on updates, and as you can see, the update notification shows that we have 11 updates. Now, if we navigate over to WordPress updates and navigate down this page, the first thing you will see is if you have any WordPress version that you can update to. So if there's any new versions of WordPress, you'll have the option to upgrade your WordPress to the newest version here. Then below that, we have plugins. Now think about plugins as additional features that you can add to your website. So these are all the plugins that we have already installed on our WordPress website. And we'll talk more about plugins shortly. Then below plugins, we have themes. 
And with WordPress, you have the option to select themes that you want to build your website with. So for example, at the moment, we currently have Divi installed. This is our favorite theme. The reason it's our favorite theme to use when building a WordPress website is because it's extremely easy to use, especially for beginners. Divi allows you to visually build your website from the front end rather than the back end, no experience needed and no coding required. They also offer dozens of templates that you can simply choose from and then customize the way that you like. Now it's important to note that before you go ahead and update any of your themes, any of your plugins or your WordPress version, you must take a backup of your website. And this is important for the security of your website. So if your website goes down, it crashes because of issues with plugins, updates, clashes between plugins and themes, then if you take a backup, at least you can just upload a new backup. Now, if you're not too sure where to start when it comes to backing up your WordPress website, then what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial down below in the description of this video that will show you how to quickly and easily take backups of your WordPress website and then restore your WordPress website. And again, like I mentioned, all of the resources that I talk about in this video will be down in the description below. Okay, so remember it's important to take a backup of your WordPress website before you make any updates. And now what we want to do is navigate back over to the left hand side and locate posts. If we click on posts, this is where we can create our blog post. Now you have a few options when it comes to actually creating your blog posts and website pages. You can use the WordPress editor or you can use a page builder like the Divi builder, which is what we have installed on this WordPress website or Elementor, which is another page builder that you can install as a plugin. And these visual drag and drop builders are ideal for beginners through to advanced users. Now, if you want to learn more about building your website pages and blog posts using a visual drag and drop builder, then what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial down below in the description that will take you through how to use the Divi builder, which is our favorite visual drag and drop page builder. And I'll also link a video tutorial on how you can get started with the page builder Elementor. These tools are both great for beginners that are looking to create stunning post pages. Okay, so what we're going to do is navigate back to our WordPress dashboard. And then what we want to do is navigate over to media. And then if we navigate up to add new next to media library, this is where you can add additional media that you want to use within your website or this is where you can manage all your media that you've uploaded when creating your website pages. For example, if you add a photo, embed a video or upload a document to a website page, then you will find all your media down here. Okay, so now what we want to do is navigate over to pages. And similar to posts, this is where you can manage all your website pages within WordPress. You can also navigate up to add new to create a new website page. Now, like we just explained when creating a blog post, you can choose to use the WordPress editor or you can use a visual drag and drop builder like the Divi builder or the Elementor page builder. However, if you want to use the WordPress editor, you can simply go ahead and create your page or blog post here. So for example, if we navigate up to this plus, we can simply create our website pages by simply clicking on any of these block elements and then simply dragging and dropping those elements onto our page. So for example, if we wanted an image, all we would do is click on the image, drag the image and drop that image in here. And then we can go ahead and upload an image. However, it can still be quite tedious using the WordPress editor. So again, I highly recommend that you use a visual drag and drop page builder like Divi or Elementor. Again, those video tutorials are down below in the description. Okay, so what we're gonna do is head back to our dashboard. And then if we navigate below pages, we have comments. This is where you can manage all your comments if people are leaving comments on your blog posts. Then below comments, we have projects. This is where you can create specific projects that you want to add to your website. Below projects, we have appearances. And what we want to do is click on themes. 
And this is where you can manage all your different themes. You can see that we have the Divi theme activated. If you want to add an additional theme, simply navigate up to add new and simply install a theme and then activate that theme if you want to change to a different theme. Then below theme, we have customize. If we click here, and this is where we can customize the overall look, style, and theme of our website. So for example, if we navigate down to header and navigation, and then click on primary menu bar, this is where we can customize the menu bar up here. So for example, if we scroll over to menu height and drag the menu height, we can change the size of the menu height. So I'm gonna keep that at 80, and then we also have other options in terms of the spacing, the colors, and the fonts. Now, when you make any changes, make sure you click publish. And what we're gonna do is head back and then back again. We can also come down to buttons and then click on buttons style. And this is where we can customize the style of all the buttons on our website. So for example, if I click and drag text size, you'll notice that the button down below gets bigger. So basically take the time to go through all the customization options. Okay, so what I'm going to do is exit out of this and return back to our WordPress dashboard. Then below themes, we have plugins. If we click on plugins, this is where we can manage all our plugins. Now, if you want to add a new plugin, simply navigate up to plugins and then navigate over to the search bar on the far right hand side and type in the specific plugin that you want to add onto your website. Remember plugins are additional features that you want to install on your WordPress website. For example, if I wanted to add a live chat feature onto our WordPress website, what I could do is type in live chat and by simply typing in the keyword live chat, you can see that hundreds of third party WordPress live chat plugins have been generated on the screen. And we can simply go ahead and install and then activate these live chat plugins onto our website. So if we keep scrolling down, you can see there are hundreds. Here you can see a Facebook chat plugin, live chat plugin for WordPress. This allows you to install Messenger onto your WordPress website so that your visitors can interact with you via Messenger. And no matter what feature you want to add onto your WordPress website, most likely you'll be able to find that in the form of a plugin. And most plugins offer a free plan that is sufficient for most users. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is navigate over to the left-hand side and then click on Users. And this is where you can add and manage all your WordPress users. To add a new user, simply navigate up to Add New. So if you need help managing your WordPress website, it could be a developer, an SEO expert, or even an admin of your organization to manage messages, then all you need to do is click Add New, add their details, and they can then log into your WordPress website. Okay, so those are all the basic features that we wanted to cover in this WordPress tutorial for beginners. You should now be comfortable with your WordPress backend, how to navigate, use, and manage your WordPress dashboard. And there we have it guys, that is it for this WordPress tutorial for beginners. Now all of the video resources we mentioned in this video will be down in the description below this video. Now if you have any questions about WordPress, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I will see you in the next video. Take care guys.